Welcome to your new Canva account. With Canva, you will easily be able to create custom social media content or ads with your brand elements and imagery online. Before we begin, please make sure you've set up your account and are logged into your Canvas homepage. Here on your homepage, you can edit your account settings and view all your current designs. At the top of the homepage are design templates that Canva has provided if you would like to start with a pre-designed look and feel. You can start with a new custom design by clicking Use Custom Dimensions on the top right or the green button on the left, Create a Design. An important thing to note on this page is the Learn to Design button on the bottom. This will take you to the tutorials page where you can practice and learn basic skills, tips, tricks, and more. You can also click the green help button in the bottom corner, which takes you to the articles page that covers all aspects of the program should you need further details on how to use Canva. Once you're ready to create your design, click the Use Custom Dimensions, enter in your dimensions. We're going to make an Instagram post, which is 1080 by 1080 pixels. You can also choose from the drop down to use millimeters or inches for your design. Once Canva has created a new project, it will open you into the design window. Right away, you should Rename your project. Click on the title of the project here and rename it to whatever will make it easy for you to recognize later. I'm going to name this Design Test, Instagram, and the size 1080 by 1080 pixels. Here on the left panel, you can create custom image layout. Add design elements like icons, shapes, and preloaded images. Add text. Change the background. And view and use your personal uploads. You can see I've already added some icons and visual elements, which once uploaded, I can access for any of my designs. You can also delete an image if you don't need it anymore. To upload more images, click the Upload button here or drop images directly into the section. We're going to start with a background. Click, hold, and drag the element onto your design. You can then move it, scale it, and it will automatically crop to the correct size. Once you're happy with your crop, you can add a filter, flip it, or change the opacity, or delete it. For this image, I'm going to add a vintage filter. Just click to preview, and then choose the one you like. You can also adjust the intensity of each filter. I've uploaded a border in my files and I'm going to drop that in next. I want it to be the proper size, so I'm just going to align it to the page and drag the corner until all edges are aligned. You can see it is telling you the size on the bottom right of the element as you scale. You want it to be as close to your canvas size as possible. In this case, 1080 by 1080. I'm now going to add another background element which I created for this project. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. Drag and drop and align to the edge and scale to fit.
I'm just going to add a few more icons here for my images panel to complete my design. Check to make sure your elements are centered. You can use your arrow keys to move objects in small increments till you think it looks about right. Now I'm going to add some text. Go to your text option on the left panel. And again, you're going to drag and drop the text into the design. I need just some small body text. So I'm going to choose the preloaded small size. You can change size, color, and font once it's on your design. To edit the text, so click the text box and make sure all the text is selected. You can edit the font, size, and color from the top menu. You can also edit spacing of the font and line height if it's a paragraph. Again, always double checking to make sure everything is aligned and centered. Once you're done with your design, you're ready to export. Just click File, Save, and it will automatically be saved to your Canva homepage as one of your designs. To export your design, click Download, choose your file type, and then download again. To view all your designs, including the one you created, click the Canva icon in the top left corner and it will take you back to your homepage. If you like this design and want to use it again, but might want to change some of the content, you can click the drop down arrow on the project and click make copy. Make sure to rename it so you know it's a new project.